Hi, I'm Edith Brayani and I'm a professional pianist. And today I'm reviewing Ermler Upright Piano. In this case, it is the art design uh, by Rene Vendetti. And um, this is the model Alexa. The thing is, is like because every single time that we talk about upright pianos, it's always like you don't really think much about the quality of the piano itself. You just think about which one is like probably cheaper or um, what is the consideration that you're thinking about buying. It's usually just whichever one that has the highest resale value probably or um, which one is the most accessible or which one is the easiest to get. But unfortunately, it's just like this brand is actually a really, really good European brand that I don't think a lot of people know. So Irmler in and of itself, it's just like, it's actually kind of like the child. So it's designed and produced by Bluthner Pianos. So Bluthner is this German company that started all the way back in the 19th century. And then the reason why I like this particular upright piano is because it actually has a more warmer sound compared to the ones that I usually see around um, normally. It's like, um, I'm not going to name names because why, but you know like which upright pianos are um, a little bit more, I guess, popular in our society. But um, I would like to say that the Ermler is actually very, very nice. It has the capability of um, building good sound and like focusing on musicality. So a lot of the times, especially with uprights, it's it's usually geared towards somebody that wants to try or like somebody that wants to start learning piano or just like somebody who has been taking piano lessons for a year and then now thinking about buying a real piano. Um, this is actually a really good option in my honest opinion. And the reason why is because I think it has the capability to grow with you as you are learning the piano. So what do I mean by that? I think it's in general, it's the sound capacity that the instrument itself is actually possible of getting. So with a lot of uprights, sometimes the action is not as sensitive, for example. So you can't really get like a huge range of dynamics or a huge range of articulations. But I think with this one, with this particular uprights, you actually can get that. So um, I'm going to try to play a little bit of a Mozart just to kind of get you guys an idea of what it sounds like. Um, and then at the same time, it's just like just the ability to create characters, even in a short um, excerpt, I think is going to show you um, what this piano can do. So this is Mozart C major sonata. Everybody knows this one. Everybody plays this one. from that excerpt is like you have the very lyrical ones and this piano is capable of making that sound like it actually has a very round very beautiful sound um, it's not too heavy which is really really nice for uh, young beginner students but then it also have that um, possibility to actually be very very um, light and very very clean so For example, just that one is like you can hear like how clear the sound is um, that I can get out of this piano, which is something some, something that um, a lot of people usually forget. It's just like they just think about what is the easiest way, what is the most comfortable way to get a piano, and I think um, the musical element, the musical um, aspects of it, is also very very important. Another one too is just like for example, if I'm just playing a very lyrical and something that has a little bit more of a bass, it also has a pretty good bass. Um, so then you can get like a bigger sound as well. So I'm gonna show you like, for example, like a Borkmuller, um, like just a small piece as a comparison. And then this one has a little bit more bass. So it still has that warm sound, um, the one that you can really try um, 
to get out of this piano. It's just like, I know that other pianos are probably a little bit lighter in terms of touch. This one has a good like weight to it. So then you can actually also practice your fingers. But then also something that I have to mention, um, this is just one out of the six models that they actually have. So then sometimes when we talk about like upright pianos, we don't really think about models or we don't really think about how pretty things are. Um, but with this one, for example, just taking this one as an example, it's just like this one actually has a curve edges. Like if you can see it on the video, um, it has a curved edges, so then it, it, it adds just a tiny bit of design as well as the quality of um, the piano itself. Like the instrument itself, I think, is a really, really good um, upright pianos, especially for younger to like intermediate students or like somebody that has already playing the piano for like probably five, six years and they look for an upgrade in their uprights from the ones that they already have at home. This would be a really, really good option. Um, and then on top of it, you can pick whichever design is actually fits your home or fits your taste. So you can even like show your personality, not only by the piano, but also by the design of the piano. So, um, Come see it for yourself. Um, we have six of them, so you can come and see it. And it's very, very pretty um, in terms of sound and in terms of design. So I hope you'll consider the Ermler um, upright pianos. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check out our website, thegrandsignaturepiano.com. I look forward to see you in our next video.